The extracted crude oil goes into the refined plant and temporarily stored into the crude oil tank. The crude oil pump pumps the oil into the crude oil filter. Filtered oil goes into the energy saving heat exchanger. Dry oil in the crude oil exchange the heat, then sent to the crude oil heater. After temperature rise, the crude oil goes into the oil acid mixture. Ratio merit phosphoric acid inside the mixture intensively mix with oil. Acid refining oil goes into the acidification tank to have a delayed acid refining reaction. After the reaction, the oil goes into the lime mixture that intensively mix with the ratio merit alkali liquid. Mixed oil goes into the alkali refining reaction tank to have delayed reaction. The alkali refined oil is sent to the alkali oil heater by the pump. After temperature rise, the oil is sent to the degumming centrifuge. By high-speed centrifugal separation, the soap is separated from the alkali refined oil and recycled by the nuclear tank on the first floor. The alkali refined oil comes into the oil water mixer after an intensive mix with the ratio mirrored water. The oil enters the dehydration centrifuge. With a high speed centrifugal force, the soap water is separated and sent to the comprehensive water knockout tank to be processed. The oil enters the joint oil heater. After heated, Go to the vacuum dryer. The vacuum dryer machine with vacuum system. The moisture inside the oil is rapidly removed and dried. The oil after dehydration is pumped into the drying oil tank for temporary storage. The transport pump conveys the oil to oil oil heat exchanger. To exchange heat with the divaxing liquid oil. After that, the oil enters the crystallization and the maturing tank. The divaxing crystallization and the maturing tank is a vertical structure with a stainless steel snake tube inside to lower the temperature, matching with the PLC cooling curve to ensure the crystallization achieves the best effect. The crystallized oil is conveyed to the diaphragm filter by the screw filter pump. The wax oil is the membrane filtered and then side pressed so that the wax separated from the filter with the automatic pulling plate open and is transported to the second floor wax oil tank for temporary storage. Then it is conveyed to the oil oil plate heat exchanger by the divaxing oil pump to exchange the heat with the dry oil. After that, the oil be sent to the oil oil heat exchanger to exchange heat with the deodorization oil and then goes into the divaxing oil heater to get oil heated and temperaturized. The decolorization clay is transported to the temporary starving shank by the pneumatic system. The clay will be added to the pre-mixed tank after it was measured by clay dosing system. The clay and oil are fully mixed in the pre-mixed tank with the vacuum state. Mix oil enters the decolorization tower. The tower matching with vacuum system dumps up powered structure. Dry steam stirring makes the clay and oil fully mixed. The mixed decolorization oil is transported to the blade vibration filter by decolorization oil pump. The blade vibration filter internal adopts stainless steel 304 mesh. The decolorization oil passes through the stainer and export it, but the oil can do it. After that, the compressed gas is blowed to dry the clay. Then the discharge valve in the bottom of the filter will be opened to discharge the waste clay to the temporary room on the first floor. Decolorization oil goes into the back filter to get the secondary filter. Filtered oil goes into the gas cylinder to remove the air in vacuum state. The gas extraction pump conveys the oil to two oil oil heater exchanger to exchange heat with the deodorization oil. After that, the oil will be sent to the conduction oil heater to exchange heat with high temperature oil and then enters the physical deacidification shower. After the deacidification oil enters the shower, 
The grid separator equally separates the oil and the oil drops into the correct heat packing. The oil forms thin film on the packing. Fatty acid vaporization inside the char. The fatty acid gas extracted by the vacuum system and sent to the condenser for condensation recovery. The deacidification oil is converted to the conduction oil heater, the oil extraction pump, to get secondary heating, and then transported to the physical deacidification and the deodorization char. The physical deacidification and the deodorization char structure combines the acidification char and the deodorization char. After the secondary deacidification on the chop, the oil flows to the deodorization char at the bottom. The man mouth palm ejector design inside the deodorization promotes the oil in the steam fully contract to separate the light constituent gas from the oil in the high vacuum system. The deodorization oil thrice transported to the oil oil screw plate heat exchanger, the extraction pump, to exchange heat. After heat exchanging, The oil enters oil oil plate heat exchanger and finally comes into the oil water cooler. After polishing by the polishing filter, the cooled deodorization oil enters the deodorization oil temporary start tank. The deodorization finished oil is pumped into the decreasing crystallization tank by the finished oil pump. After crystallization, the fatty oil is sent to the thermal discharge filter by degrading filter pump. The thermal discharge filter separates the steering from the oil. Degrading oil is transported to the finished oil temperate starter tank, then is pumped to the product oil tank area or filling plant. The fatty acid gas from the acidification shower and the acidification the authorization shower is conveyed to the fatty acid catcher. After a centrifugal separation, the fatty acid liquid from the fatty acid recovery system spread to the fatty acid gas. Fatty acid liquid is recovered to the temperate starter tank. Through the fatty acid pump, it is sent to the outdoor fatty acid tank. Black oil in the tank area will be filled after merit by the oil discharge system. Product oil is packed by the filling machine to the bottles. Automation control room is set inside the plant area. The production line controlled by the PLC system to finish production.